Hey guys, Captain Figurine back with another video and today we're gonna talk about the Lone Fighter mode in Enlisted. Because with a recent update we had, it turned into the true hardcore mode as the devs call it and it's a more realistic approach than we have on the squad mode in Enlisted. And I think this is great because I was playing it the last few days more and more because one of the guys from, from our Discord reminded me, hey, there was a change, we played a few rounds and I think it's not in a perfect spot right now, but it's a lot better than before. Before, there was like no reason for me to play the Lone Fighter mode. It's still flooded with bots, it's still flooded now, but it almost felt like the other mode just with, with a lot less action and that's what I like about the squad mode. So what did they change? So they turned it into a hardcore mode and what does it mean? So as you can see in the gameplay there, the interface is a lot lighter. We have only our HP bar, ammunition, we don't see them all the time. If you swap your weapons or reload, you can see how much ammo you have left. You can actually friendly fire. This works with tanks, with the planes, with everything. So you will get a lot of minus points if you bomb or just execute your friendly units. So it helps a lot if you played a lot of squad mode, you know the uniforms of the different squads. Um, because you don't want to backfire all of your friendly units. You're gonna see a small little blue icon on top of the head of your friendly units if you hover over them, but on long range and if you have to decide like fast, it's sometimes very hard and I got killed quite often from friendly units. We don't have any kill cam here. You don't get any hit registration, so you don't know if you hit someone or not. There's also no kill feed on the sides. You can see your kills if you press tab and your M for the map is super important because as you can see there, there is also no minimap because you can you have to check everything on your map. It's the same for the points you have to capture. You have to check on your map where's the point. If you played the maps a lot, you already know where the points are. So you have to check if you already captured them and you can check maybe how far the capturing is going. So that's important to know. Or if you're on the point, you can see how many units are on the point if you have if you outnumber them right now or if you're outnumbered. So that can help and give you some information. And what I think about this is actually it would be super sweet if they maybe would swap the points to capture around a little bit. Maybe do some different capture points or maybe there's some events that could trigger different points to capture. I don't know because we played these maps a lot, so we know where the points are anyway. So I personally on Moscow, I don't really need the maps for anything, but it would be nice if they do something like that. So you have to check it. You have to really keep an eye out for what's going on on the map. What is your target? What you have to do? Because if you don't, if you don't check it out on your map, you may be defending a point that's captured since minutes. So keep an eye out for that. Also, if you play the planes or play the tanks, yeah, make sure you don't bomb your own squad. What I think is very nice, you can mark with the, you have seen that in the tutorial video I made or with the quick tips. If you click on Alt while having the map, you can set a mark on the map. So I always mark the point for the plane. So you have a better understanding of where the point is if you want to attack it. They also mentioned in the update post that they really want to separate these two game modes from each other. So squad and lone fight should really be a different experience. So I think they want to move further in this direction in this mode and keep the squad mode like it is. I would really love to see if they maybe go for an event where we have a hard mode for maybe some campaign at a certain time because I really would love to see how it turns out to play squad mode with all these hard mode changes. Could be very interesting. And yeah, I guess that covers most of the hard lone fighter mode. I will play that more mode more often and do more content about the lone fighter mode if it's necessary. Also, I will cover all updates for the lone fighter mode and for the normal squad mode. So for whole and listed zone, so don't worry about that one. And yeah, let me know down in the comment section if you like the new hard mode, if you already tested it, if you maybe completely forgot about it. I mean, I wasn't talking about it. Maybe you didn't realize it. So let me know what you think about it. And I see you next time, guys. Have a good one. Captain Figurine out.